And now, said I, here is an allegory to visualize the scope in which our nature may be illuminated or be clouded. Envision the state of men inhabiting a kind of cavernous subterranean chamber whose entrance is exposed to the light and is preceded by a long passageway down into a cave. The prisoners have been here since childhood, chained by their legs and necks to limit movement and vision, so that only what is in front of them can be seen. is the light from a fire which burns from behind the men. Between the captives and the fire is a trail with a parapet built along it, like a partition at a puppet show, hiding the performers as they animate their puppets over the topside. Imagine that behind this partition, people are moving along and carrying various synthetic objects, including figures of men and animals made from wood, stone, or other materials. <laughs> are projected above the parapet. Some will be talking, others are silent. Captives within such a form of confinement would have seen nothing of themselves or of one another, except for the shadows thrust by the firelight onto the wall of the cave facing them, or would they? Suppose that in this prison, there was an echo coming from the wall facing the prisoners. One of the persons crossing behind them would speak. The prisoners could only assume that the sound had come from the shadow passing right before their sights. Reality then to these prisoners would be established in the form of nothing but shadows from artificial objects. Malcolm, what the fuck are you talking about? Malcolm, Malcolm, what the fuck are you talking about? Malcolm, Malcolm, what the fuck are you talking about? Malcolm, Malcolm, what the fuck are you talking about? Malcolm, Malcolm, what the